Three, two, one. <laughs> arguing again, arguing about something so simple. Make it clear, tell me why you're running back to him. Feeling insecure, feeling like there's more to your character. Every tear that you cry is worth it. Good morning. It is currently 7:25. I'm at the train station. Look at the beautiful view. And I'm waiting to get the train down. So we've just gone on the train, but the train is so packed that I'm currently in the hallway. And um, yeah, I'm gonna sit down, have my breakfast on the train. And I hope unfortunately charging my phone. But I'll have my breakfast and then put out my laptop, put out my lap and just get to working. Never seen it this packed. Just because they deserved um, a moment of this vlog. And I'm East Coast. Pretty easy day. It's currently nearly nine o'clock. Um, about halfway there towards the side. But we have, I think, a, a lecture and a tutorial. And in between those, we had a nice big gap. So I'm going to be meeting with my project management team. And we're just gonna, you know, get ourselves sorted for the group project that we have. In the afternoon we've got a LinkedIn workshop that we've organised for the society. So we're gonna go to that. Hopefully all goes well. I'm actually kind of really excited for that one. They've generously hosted us for the afternoon to give us an insight on how best to utilise LinkedIn as a student to get our first job, which is like really relevant to us given the point that our placements and the aspect of placement is coming up really, really soon. So, we set out to get coffee. I was intercepted. And who am I to say no to coffee? Hi, Maria. Hello. Guys, yeah, this is our morning. I just say that I get a cup at every convenience, which is basically what I do. Uh, okay. So, here we are, getting a cuppa with a tiny little chocolate because why not? We deserve it this morning. Thank you. That's coffee done. Ready? Let's go. We're officially kind of happy campers. We both got flat white this morning. And I got a white raspberry heart because yeah. I'm gonna need a bit of heart today to just stay awake. <laughs> um, yeah. So we're just heading to Albert. Um, we've still got like two minutes, and we have a lecture in genetics on next generation sequencing. So here we go. So we've just finished the first lecture in genetics and right now we've got a meeting for project management, the girlies are setting up and that's about it and then tutorial later after the break. So we've just finished the project management meeting and we're kind of set on what, how we want to work as a team and like we've set up some tasks that we will have done for next week and the potential meeting time again um, that's half the work I think for the assessment that we have and the thing as an ATT student is that assignments and assessment they all seem to clash so you like you're, you're much better off you know starting early and being able to do things slowly and steadily so we've got a break a bit of a break now and then a tutorial on respiratory disorders. So we're currently at lunch. Say hi guys. Um, and I got really good food to be fair. 
but I got a tandoori chicken, which I'm so excited to have. And also, the best thing here is one, it's decently priced. Two, like all of the food is halal, and the chances of cross contamination aren't. So I'm gonna enjoy my food, and then talk to you later. So we've got an hour for the next tutorial that we have um, in pharmacology and theranostics, and. Due to the looming deadline of a bioinformatics assignment, I have decided that I'm going to dedicate this hour to that to get some coding done and look through the assessment and, you know, answering some of the questions or structuring the actual report. <laughs> There's like a ton load of stuff and these are like samples of people up here up top and you have like a ton load of genes and like we do coding stuff like this and like figure it out and we get to do some really cool stuff and make like really cool plots and all of that. I've yet to get to the cool part because I've yet to code it but hopefully pretty colours will end up gracing me my screen my Dell screen so I started um some of the coding oh, look I got a cute little volcano block it literally looks like a little volcano and it's all about whether or not like these genes are like up and down regulated which is really really cool so we've just finished the tutorial with Dr. Coppinger on respiratory disease, very informative. We went through some exam questions, which was nice, and kind of just asked any queries we had about it. There is a solid hour before we have to head out for the LinkedIn thing. Um, so I stopped myself down in the canteen to get some other bits and pieces done, maybe do some notes this time, given the point that I actually got quite a bit done on the bioinformatics assignment. So it is currently a couple minutes. We're heading out to LinkedIn thing now and I'll keep you updated. What's one thing you're excited to learn about LinkedIn? I just really want to know how to like expand my network of people. And how to make an account. <laughs> Does any free food like? So we've just finished our LinkedIn workshop. Very nice. Um, I think everyone really learned and everything, and there was a lot of questions to go, and um, the instructor was really good. So. All of a success, I think. Hi, yeah. Jamal, what is one thing you learned from the workshop? Um, I learned just how many employers use LinkedIn, so I'll definitely be refining the profile when I get home. I learned about the importance of referrals, how they can help you uh, to gain the attention of an employer and help uh, get you that new position. Today I learned the best way to structure a LinkedIn profile. Thank you.